Someday I'm gonna leave for a land that is better Than all of the treasures that this old world can hold I'd like to sit down by the cool crystal river And spend endless ages beginning no end No eyes have not seen or can we imagine What the Lord has prepared for me and for you Artists can't capture his beauty on canvas And the words of this song cannot tell it so true But when we reach heaven we'll know all about it We'll be there forever for our eyes to view Of that city are like under jasper The foundations of Jews are precious and rare We'll have need of nothing, not even a candle For he is a light in that city so fair No eyes have not seen or can we imagine what the Lord has prepared for me and for you And artists can capture his beauty on canvas And the words of this song cannot tell it so true But when we reach heaven we'll know all about it We'll be there forever for our eyes to be
Amen. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I've made it back. I'm coming alive slowly. Like I said earlier, I was sound asleep, and uh, I overslept, about missed the program, man. Look at what all I would have missed, seeing all you guys jump in the chat room and be a blessing and just sharing the Word of God and encouraging one another. I see Crystal, uh, my daughter-in-law, sharing a work experience uh, she had today at work, and, uh, you know, one of the hardest things I've had to do uh, is go to work when uh, you just flat don't feel like it i mean when the old enemy's just rearing his old ugly head up and makes the work zone just a, a dreadful place to be but we have to pray our way through we really have to do that we have to pray because if we don't then the enemy wins if we if we pull out and quit and and i can say this because where i work i was told my son uh, is not allowed back back there and you you know that's hard when 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 you work for a place that you're told your son's not allowed back and uh you know that's hard and uh i had to pray my way through because i still got responsibilities i still got i got to pay my light bill i got to do a lot of things but it but it changed the atmosphere for me it changed it changed how i it changed you know and uh i'm just praying that god will allow me to continue to bless my family through the 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 work and and get done and uh, as soon as god says you can go i'm gone <laughs> you know uh pray put me in a, a different situation a different place you know but i know what she's talking about and brother boyd talking about the enemy bothering him trying to you know cause him to sin you know and you got to rebuke him brother boyd's right and uh, you know you got to just stand up and uh, I have to do that every day now where where I work. I have to stand up to the enemy and, and just rebuke him. And uh, just remember that, uh, you know, God's given me a, a, a wonderful job. I love mechanic and I love what I do. Uh, I love being able to be a blessing. You know, I never want to feel like I'm a burden, you know, on the job or in anybody's life. I always want to be a blessing and, and try to go above and beyond you know, and uh, be, because just the love of God, you know, you just love being able to do that, or I do, you know, I, I really do, but uh, amen. Hey, we just got joined, uh, Jose, he's still here, he's going to be leaving in the morning, about nine o'clock, but he just came in and sat down, you want to give him a big howdy there, brother? Yes, how you guys doing today? I um, just wanted to uh, okay. stop in and tell everybody. Hold on just a second. Hold on. I'm sorry. We've got a dead mic. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Now now you can, brother. Jump can, out there. Can you hear me? We got you. Just wanted to stop in again and say hi to y'all. And uh, I just saw what you guys were talking about. And, you know, um, that's very true. You see it a lot. Uh, the, most way, the most things I've seen is through hitchhiking. And, yeah, I've seen some people looking pretty rough and whatnot. Um, on some of the jobs you've worked on, you know, you might have been uh, doing the horse thing or the mm -hmm. cattle thing, and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, somebody try to tell you, oh, you don't, let's go over here and do this, or we can go over here and get drunk, and, you know, nobody's around. We're out way out in the pasture. Right. You know, nobody, out, nobody. Out knows. in the sticks. Yeah, nobody know, you know, but the truth is God would know. You know, so we got to be faithful and and give our employees a good day's work and uh, stay focused on what we're doing and rebuke the devil, like Brother Boyd said. Just tell old devil, old slew foot, go on, get down through you. All right, you know. You want to hear a little story? Go ahead. All right. Um, you know, I was in North Carolina, and um, this is my first time seeing two people uh, with vehicles that says God's watching you. Well, I was at a McDonald's, you know, and I seen this car roll back. The guy must have been like 70, 80 years old. And, yeah, most people forget, but I don't know how you can forget to put the car in in, in rever or in a park. Mm -hmm. Well, his wife was sitting in the um, passenger seat, and all I heard was whoosh, like, like something crashing. And I looked up. And I just, I just seen this nice, nice SUV 
uh, slam into the car and, you know, I walk, well, yeah, and I walked over to somebody else and I said, did you see, just see that? And this guy opened his mouth and said, um, God's watching you. He's up, he's, it's up to you to see what you do. So I went over, I snuck over and write down the license plates. The driver of the red vehicle that rolled back into the, uh, some other guy's car looked at me and noticed what I was doing, writing down his license plates. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to keep you. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. And I said, sir, I'm doing God's part. He said, get your nose out of my business. And I'm like, I'm like, sir, I'm doing God's part. Just in case something does happen, all I got to do is report it, you know. God was watching that day, and I honestly, I felt that I've done something right. Yeah, praise God. And whatnot, and, you know, I... Sometimes I read I read people's bumper stickers walking down the highway, and you know you can clearly tell who's yeah <laughs> who's being righteous or not. Yeah, not ashamed to let everybody know that they love the Lord. Yes, you know uh, an overcomer with the word of your testimony, and it can be on a bumper sticker, it can be on a phone call, uh, it can be in many many forms. Amen. But I know this, God is good, praise the Lord. And and like Jose talking about, you know, you have to get involved, you know, and uh, that means sometimes you make people mad, you know, and, and my life's an open book, and you guys <laughs> that follow me know that, and I make people mad all the time. <laughs> These people stay madder uh, at me than hell is hot because I share my daily experience. I share my walk with God. I share the good. I share the bad. Because it's real. It's this real. That if you die in sin, you're you're going to miss heaven. That's how real it is. And I want you to know that even though we stumble along the way, and we do fall, and we make mistakes, but God is just to forgive us. He loves us. And, you know, so that's why when, uh, you know, I started doing radio broadcast and, uh, you know, uh, Facebook, I said, I'm just going to be truthful about everything in and out, up and down, pretty and ugly because my life is an open book i've done things that i'm ashamed of today but i i you know it's life i did them you know i'm not gonna lie and say i didn't do them you know i had a guy ask me one time he said well you're doing so much i don't know how you do all this and boy you just must be a saint and you just must be perfect and i said well i'm striving to be perfect i'm striving to be christ-like but no there's a time in my life that i was a drunk that i was a, a, a no account uh a vagrant lost in the world and undone there's a time in my life that i hated everybody there's a time in my life that i didn't even uh want to hear about god there's a time in in my life uh that uh i would turn my back on a fellow man there's a time that if i went by and saw somebody in the ditch i wouldn't stop i'd go plumb across the road to a to avoid that uh, and get away from it instead of going to it and seeing what I could do to make a difference, you see. But thank God through the grace and the mercies and love of God, they were people praying for me even when I had no idea they were. And thank God that... Uh,